So, Oliver, tell me the latest about the saga and the Club Med. So Club Med has been the, the centre of a bidding war, France's longest running bidding war. Uh, there's the two parties who are interested are a consortium backed by Fosun, that's a Chinese conglomerate, and Invest Industrial, this is a, a Italy-based private equity firm. So they've both been trying to, uh, to, to beat each other to, to buy Club Med. Um, Fosun Consortium has come in today with a bid. It's bid 24.6 euros per share, up from the previous Invest Industrial um, bid, which was 24 euros. So it's kind of inching up. It's now quite away from the in initial bid that Fosun made last year, which was 17.5 euros, which was backed by the board. So shareholders are a lot better off now than they were last year with the original bid. That said, it's not necessarily the end of it. Yeah, it just it seems like it keeps escalating and escalating. Is there an end in sight, or do we think there there's going to be more bidding? There will have to be at some point, um, because obviously for the, for the two bidders, it will stop making financial sense, but clearly at the moment they see value in doing it. And I guess a lot rests on what each of them will do with the company. Um, Club Med's been struggling. It had its results a few weeks ago. Profits fell last year. Operating profits were lower. So it, it's a turnaround situation. Now, for Sun, um, the, the Chinese conglomerate there, their plan, which is supported by the Club Med management, involves expanding, particularly in emerging markets. They're very keen, obviously, to have lots more Club Med resorts in China, person owns a stake in China's biggest travel agent, so there's some synergies there, and they want to expand in Latin America. Uh, the, uh, the Italian bid, they see a, a similar sort of strategy, but they, they want to focus on the, the sort of operational turnaround a bit more, and also see some synergies with other properties they own in, uh, in Europe, other leisure properties. So they've both got very different plans. I don't think either of them will find huge amounts of cost savings, though, and that's often where people manage to justify higher prices. So there won't be that. So at some point, uh, it'll have to come to a close. So it, we've got the, uh, the, the final deadline, I think. Then, well, the next deadline is January the 7th. So we will wait to see if uh, Mr. Bonamy, who's in charge of Industrial, can, uh, can increase his bid anymore. So the strategies seem to be different for the two companies that are looking at acquiring it. Um, is there a preference for the board and how, how we think it's going to play out? Well, management is behind the Fosun bid, the, the Chinese bid. They are part of the, the bidding consortium there. There's no formal recommendation from the board at the moment. Uh, and it remains to be seen if, if the, the Italians in Messe Industrial will, will increase their, their bid. They've got until January the 7th. That's the next deadline. Uh, it may be another small increase, but at some stage, uh, one of them will have to give up and, and see the, the, let the, the other one buy the company. So it's a nice thought to have of summer holidays as we head into Christmas.